Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Easter Sunday. I woke up at nine and then I just couldn't, like I was still feeling really tired. So I decided to go back to sleep, but it looks like it's going to be nice out today. So I'm kind of excited for that. I'm hoping either today or tomorrow, John is going to be up for shooting our Final Fantasy video. Fingers crossed for that, but I'm definitely going to make myself a coffee because I am in need of a coffee i keep forgetting again so like i think i'm i think i explained this in one of our other videos but some of our lights are connected to like a phillips thing and then others are not those lights there are not connected to our phillips system but some of these other lights so this guy here is connected to the system. Initially, I was thinking of doing some work today, but I decided I'm not going to just because I'm wanting to rest and take a break. So tomorrow I'll probably go back to work. I think that's what most people are doing anyways, because tomorrow's Easter Monday. Some people treat it as like a day off, some don't. I usually work Easter Mondays. I have almost every single year, so I'm kind of indifferent to taking the Easter Monday off. I do have a whole bunch of things that are on deadline, and I don't know if you watched the last vlog, but there was a power outage that just messed with my day and it resulted in it being pretty annoying in here. I figure I'll just do everything tomorrow. <laughs> Yesterday we went out to Tawasson Mills to go for a walk and like window shop and grab a couple of things. So we grabbed some more chocolate and some donuts as well from Krispy Kreme. So lots of things like Easter related here in the apartment that we, you know, don't really need to go out and get. This morning, I'm just going to play some video games and hang out and then wait for John to come home because he did have to go to work today. Anyways, we're probably going to go for a walk, see what it's it's so nice out like I can't see us not going for a walk and I don't think there's anything we need to go out and get or do or any errands we have so we'll probably keep it lo uh, like really low key and keep it close to home which I think is just fine with me <laughs> I'm gonna make a coffee because it sounds like the kettle's just about ready so um I'll check in with all y'all later Are you actually marking it off? Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh, that beeping noise is going off. Good morning. It is April 1st, April Fool's Day, although I think it's already technically over. After 12, April Fool's is typically over, so I'm curious to know how you celebrate April Fool's because my understanding is no pranks after noon. Just finished doing some work for one of my clients, and I gotta say, I haven't really been motivated recently. I'm just not feeling it. I think it's because I haven't had like a straight up break and I've just sort of been working here and there so I'm still waiting on a couple more projects and obviously those get tied up because there are other things that people have to do or I have to wait for certain procedures to be completed and so I just haven't been feeling it recently. I feel bad because you know it's spring and I'm thinking man I should feel a lot better than I do, but right now I don't. So I'm just kind of sitting with my feelings, although I did do some work this morning. Some of it I can't do because it's contingent on other stuff ha happening time-wise, and I think people are just taking today off because it's Easter Monday. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do today. It's, it looks kind of nice out there, so maybe I'll go for a walk, but I even said that yesterday. I was like, maybe I'll go for a walk yesterday, and I just haven't been motivated to like get up and go. I haven't watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory this year, which is something I do every single year. So every single year I watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and I also watch The Sound of Music. Those are my two Easter movies. I watched The Sound of Music last week, a little bit earlier than anticipated because I was actually craving <laughs> watching The Sound of Music. 
but um, I haven't watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory yet, so I might do that. I'll probably just putz around the house and figure stuff out. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> also, I should probably fix the bed, my gosh. I also forgot to mention yesterday um, when we were watching the cyclothon that you saw earlier on in the video that that cyclothon's actually for charity. So Chris and Connor are cycling across parts of Japan for two weeks and I think their goal was to raise a million dollars. I can't quite remember, but all the information about the cyclothon, I'll link it somewhere below. It's a really great cause and it's two weeks of really good content because you get to see from their point of view what different parts of Japan look like. But they've done a really good job with these. Like they just keep improving them every year and all of the funds that they raise go to charity. With the exception of merch. I think this year they have merch and I believe it's $5 from every piece of merch that they sell goes to charity. So fantastic cause, great content, and I just love that they do this because it's such a great way to see Japan if you can't travel. Yep, right on time, right on time. The alarm is going off again. That's really great. You would think that hearing the beeping noise, it was the same day. It is not the same day. It's driving me up the wall. This is, it's been every single day since we had the power outage from the car crash. The good news is I have some plans for today. Oh, my voice is like not here today. So I've already done some work this morning posting a uh, TikTok for a client and then I've made the other two that need to go up during the week. I am gonna do a playthrough of probably Child of Light. Child of Light is one of my favorite games of all time. It's very off the beaten path. It is an Ubisoft game, so I'm sorry. The artwork in it is just, it's something else. It's been on my mind to replay it for a bit, so I want to at least start that uh, process and we'll see how it goes. Possible. Of side dishes. Hello, we are live from the living room. <laughs> uh, I guess new game because we we haven't played this before. Yeah, we haven't played it together. No. Yeah. Well, not on this. Okay. Right. Bad matter. Casual, right? We're not trying to impress anybody. No. <laughs> Okay. Child, tuck yourself in bed. I'm always really like story of impressed a long lost kingdom with this art and a girl born for glory. I'm sad that in Austria was nobody by made more games in a similar vein to this because this Child used the, uh, the same the engine as Raymond Legends. Oh, okay. You raised the girl alone. They were rarely apart. Till the Duke well, I can't remember if it was his heart. Ubisoft Montreal or if it was a team in France that did it because this was all... Actually, no, it was Ubisoft Montreal because the music was done by a Quebecois musician. That night, or oh. At least the music with the lyrics was. The fire oh, okay. Um, but yeah, the all the original dialogue and everything was in French. And I find it very unusual that you can't play this in French with subtitles. <laughs> Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. She's very yellow for a dead child. Is she, though? Yes. 
This is loading very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Ubisoft Montreal. Okay. okay. So it's a Canadian game. Technically, yes. Technically, it's a Canadian game. Okay. CanCon. There very go. good. Very good. Excellent. All right. We can make our filing to SoCan that we don't have to do. <laughs> oh, They'll gosh. be thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> So is this me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to push this. Some of it, it's funny because like some of it's coming back to me and some <laughs> of it I'm just like, ooh, what? Okay, so she can't jump up there. Steady, only little kids easily scare. I don't remember this being as easy to play. <laughs> I do remember being irritated at one point because she can't dash. <laughs> you kind of get rid of the entire reason to dash not pretty. far from here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pretty. She doesn't seem happy about this. I would be surprised if anybody were happy that <laughs> She thinks he's a firefly. I love that this is all written in poetry. Yeah, rhyming couplets. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish more people played this game because it was just so well, it just seemed very thoughtful to me. Are you now the, uh... oh, you are, okay. So just to be clear for everybody, I am Aurora, and John is what Aurora is calling this firefly. Look at those, that giant in the back. Don't you know? These are wishes. Wishes of light, light and darkness. Okay. The path's right over this tree. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah ignite your butt but we say it poetically yes <laughs> burn your ass whoa i barely, barely know. know you <laughs> do it and i'll show you oh my goodness or is this the lost in translation kind of thing i don't think it is hold r2 to make a shadow that's you right Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you have to fit all the shadow pieces in there. Yes, 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 yes. Yay! Our path is clear, but who would put a door here? Remove the sword under. Ooh! She looks so cool. I love how she looks. Oh, no! It's only been like five minutes in this game. So this is turn-based, right? Uh, Technically? Kind of. Okay. Uh, it, yeah, so if you look at the bottom, you mm -hmm. see there's like, uh, basically like a speed bar. When it gets to your turn, it stops. Yeah. And you can do stuff. Um, if you manage to hit an enemy after they've made a decision, because there's a little window here, mm -hmm. or whether it's for attacks or casting or whatever, if you hit an enemy while they're in here, it interrupts them and it sends them back on the timeline. It doesn't let them do their action. Okay. So what I can do is I can either hover over you and set my ass on fire and heal you. <laughs> yeah. Or I can highlight different enemies and slow them down on the timeline. And then I can... Oops. Ooh. Uh, I can only stay lit for so long, but I can regenerate it using these flowers down here. I have limited use in like boss fights and stuff. And I think, doesn't the, aren't there additions during the game, like throughout the game as you progress of, of the stuff that you can use outside uh, you, of the flowers? You get more abilities. This guy get is his, his abilities stay the same. All right. Yay. No, ouch, my crown. I love that she picks up her crown.
Obviously. Boom. Got him. He's done. Obviously, because it's really early in the game and we're just getting reacquainted in our case with that. Boom. Immediately dust. <gasps> we're Yay. now level two. You learned a thing. Yay. No skill issue dialogue. Oh, not yet. Not we'll yet. See. Select new skills for Aura. Aurora. Oh my gosh. Reading, guys. Reading. Okay, this is where I was actually really bad at this game. Like, I didn't really understand how to use this. But now that I've played the most recent Kingdom Hearts that came out, yeah. now I kind of get these maps. There's no wrong way to go on these because it's pretty limited. But uh, it just depends on how you play. Like, do you, do you want... To have a bit of magic right off the right off the jump. So I think last time when I did this, I started off with the starlight. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick that again. Sure. Wait. I'll stand right there. There we go. Okay. Surprise! There. Then you get to be right at the front of the timeline. Excellent cast. So we have starlight. And that's and it. Slash. Let's see what starlight does. Just to entertain the masses. Whoa! Recover some of that MP. Nice, nice, nice. For sweet, sweet experience. Oh, I love it. Oh, there's two of them. Oh no, we're doomed. Let's uh. Oh, there's there's also flea. <laughs> what is Where's the, the fun in that? Where's a what is the Pokemon battle? <laughs> Nice, nice. And I think he gets an attack, right? No, I can hit him first. Oh, okay. Woo! Living on the edge. Nice! There you go. You did good. Hold L2 to make the firefly glow. Wow! Oh! No, I got attacked. Or we got attacked, so this is considered an ambush, which means they get to attack first, right? Oh, they're just gathering strength. Woo! Creeper? Ew! Starlight, let's go for this guy. Nice! Slash him. Oh, close. Almost like I timed it. I can't remember if you get a double jump. I think you do. You do. I just can't remember when. Follow my voice. If I recall correctly, the only way you typically die is through battle, right? Yes. Yeah. I think if you run into spikes, it'll just take you down to one HP. Yes. And then you get in a fight and die anyway. Yeah. End this immediately. <laughs> there we go. That is. Could you imagine? She probably doesn't have to go like work out for a well, while. I mean, she's like ten. It's outside. It's already in the light. Oh. What do we have here? A door. Oh. <gasps> Puzzle. Oh, this, gosh. This actually took me a while to solve. I think this is one of the, one of the parts in the game where I actually felt dumb. <laughs> oh, wow! Hmm? Do I push it here? Well, there's a bunch of stuff on the ground, so it's gotta be Gotta go somewhere. Seems kind of odd. So oh. put a box on here, and then you push a box here. Actually, no, wait, we can't because the other one's on the other side. I think I can go get it. No, you can't. Oh. Because you needed this box to jump over the first thing, and you needed that box to jump over the second thing. 
What's to the left? Nothing. Okay. Oh, wait. No, fine. what's that? I can open it. Hey. Not oculine equipment to improve character stats. Okay. No, I think he's... Oh, yeah, he takes a while to get it done. Probably should have attacked her first. Well, I was slowing her. You know, it's so funny, they call it a ghastly whale, but it sounds kind of nice. <laughs> there we go, she's done. Although he's pretty close to attacking. Well, if you use a regular attack, you should hit him first. Look at that art. Stuff like this is so cool. I am imprisoned behind the glass. Okay. Uh, what do we do? Ah! <laughs> okay, and then I think you. Or, no, never mind. Yeah, is there anything you can do here interaction wise to change this? No, it's all levers. No. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Yep, press it. I did. Oh, and then L. You rotate. Okay, wait. Oh. Okay. So red? Or is it blue? I think it's blue. Because we already did red. Okay. Uh, boy. A tiny nut, excuse you! Rude! Oh, these guys. <laughs> it takes. And he chucks his head off. <gasps> what the heck? Oh no. Oh, at least that one's only gathering strength. That's not good. Hey, there we go. Man, there's some like killer names for these attacks. Beauty. Oh, <gasps> almost there! Almost there! Ooh, it's gonna be close. Okay, so slash it is. Dead. Done. Go team. All right. Nice. That definitely holds up, and I actually want to yeah. finish that. Sure. I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about it? Oh, it's always fun to play. I just, I enjoy it. It's a fun game. It, it has a, a fun little story. The battle system is reasonable. Like, it's, I mean, it's easy to kind of get lost in the sauce, but at the end of the game, it's really fun. It feels easier now than it did when I played it ages ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after beating it, you've played it. So you, mm -hmm. this would be your third time playing it. Yeah, and it has like a new game plus. You can play through it on hard with all your progress and all that as well. Yeah, I I still think I like the idea of casual play just because it's like John said at the beginning, there's no one really to impress, but it's definitely a nice... There's just like this very much like storybook feel to it. And I'm very impressed with the integration of the different aspects of the creativity. So obviously the development's really great. The um, like the direction's really great. The poetry is really great. Are there any drawbacks for you that you are not a fan of with this game? It gets pretty grindy a little bit later. Yeah. But uh, I mean, every game kind of gets like that for an RPG. Yeah. Um, I One thing, I don't know if it's just because I'm lazy, but like with this game, it's hard to level everyone up because you can only have a party of three, and I think yeah. you get six, five, six characters. I definitely agree with the grindy part. Like it's a lot of repetition and stuff, especially you know attacking over and over and over again. I do feel like the cost benefit here is worth it the, because there is like an actual finite ending here. The ending, which I try not to, we're, not, we're trying not to spoil this, but like the ending is quite. It's, um, 
There's no possibility for a sequel. I personally, when I finished the game the first time, I felt really satisfied. I was like, let's just, this was a great experience. Let's just leave it here. I just found it so unique. It felt like a movie. It felt like a game. It felt like a story, like an actual, it felt like everything. It's worth your money. Oh yeah, totally. So. It, is, it is a good French fairy tale. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. And I guess internet will see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Bye.